The role of the teacher is more essential than ever for mapping a curriculum for the 21st century, and beyond that empowers students and teachers with relevant learning experiences. For the past seven years, teachers at Boston Latin Academy have been developing their roles as teacher leaders of an interdisciplinary and disruptive approach to learning. My name is Kellyanne Mahoney, and I'm a seventh grade English teacher at Boston Latin Academy. In the seventh grade symposium uh, is our interdisciplinary capstone project that we have been collaborating together uh, with many other teachers as well. And it integrates uh, science, math, Latin, humanities, and ELA. Uh, and it's an opportunity for students to be able to apply their learning. They received a letter from the future, 2065, mm -hmm and it's like the society is total chaos. The whole symposium assignment is framed as a hero's journey, and it's basically they take this data from math, they decide, so there's all different global, there's all different uh, topics of the data, so they're expected to look at the data from the society and decide which is the most pressing global issue that has led to this terrible situation. For example, who could share with us one of the global issues that you are, your hero is trying to solve for? Uh, okay. World hunger. So world hunger, what's yours? Obesity. Obesity. I'm Kathy O'Flaherty and I teach 7th grade English at Boston Latin Academy. I always tell them analog to digital. So they're really integrating their content and their ability to write and read into their ability to express that somehow digitally. And they're creating a hero based on a hero from The Tempest by Shakespeare so they have to take the values and the traits that they analyzed in those characters and translate it into a character they create. So because everything needs to match up. So at that point some of my students decided to change their variable in order to make it fit the, the hero. For me, demonstrate the importance of, for example, having them storyboard and having them understand that not only can they do that in writing but that they can do it digitally and that to me is a huge leap for a lot of kids. We've learned over the years of doing this project is that really we need kids more and more to also have individual work within that collaboration and so they can take their individual work and start to storyboard it together and really we're setting them up for, for rhetorical, with rhetorical devices that they'll be able to use as well to communicate in more complex ways as they develop as writers and readers and move forward. When all of this work is done, they will be engaging in a Socratic seminar, taking all of this work and having um, a live, in the moment discussion about their learning. We have a variety of rubrics that assess, and teachers that are assessing various levels of what they're working on. If you say you're going to tackle research in class, I am dependent on you tackling research in your class so that when they get to my class, they have the research to create their hypothesis. The example that comes to mind is their science fair project, getting their help with graphic organizers to write up their conclusion. And because it has been done throughout the year, now that we are at symposium, we refer back to the systems that we have implemented. We go through the year kids have already been assessed with each of those rubrics so they understand them fully. I have an open question for anybody. Anyone can, open the, uh, anyone can answer this. What do you think is the least pressing variable? Obesity. It's also ruining the oxygen in the sky. So if overpopulation continues, then we won't have like any sustainable oxygen. In the real world, in a real world situation, you might be solving a problem and they may very well be doing this in their future with somebody who's living in Europe, for example, and they may be doing that in cyberspace. So being able to express themselves digitally, I feel like it's a really compelling and important thing for them to be able to do successfully. 